This really is craftsmanship. Hmm. Are you in the market for something in particular? Do come again. Oh, um, yes? Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. Uh, I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself. Uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me, I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I had been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so, though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you gifted me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I am indebted to you twofold. But this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. Displaying bone? Have you business with the guild, sir? I should be glad to assist you. Oh, true to your word, you have come. Let us begin at once. Um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost. Uh, uh, so, so stand here and take your aim at yon targets. We've arrived just as planned. I 
my gratitude. I learned much from you just now. In fact, I have made a discovery. Unlike those of Elven make, bows crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? But I can see this is no revelation for you. I expect you thought this design common to all bows, yes? Not so for those of Elven make, however. Our bows are crafted to guide not the hand, but the heart. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but such is the perspective of Elven kind. We are taught that arrows loosed with proper form will strike true, as if it is all a matter of poise. I admit, I find it rather baffling myself. Perhaps that is why my bowmanship has failed to improve. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Let us see if I fare any better now. Huzzah! What a feat! I, I, I can hardly believe it. Every last arrow found its mark. Dead center. This marvel is, is nothing at all like an elven bow. The design allows for ease of aim and steadfast flight of each arrow. To think that I should I should feel such a difference. Mayhap I am more suited to a bow of foreign make than one of my own peoples. It is a strange thought, but how else to explain it? My arrows have not soared so true in all my days. I'd nearly given up on myself, yet would seem I am not without talent after all. My performance with this bow has divested me of such doubts. But the ingenuity of this design, if only my people would take heed. It is all very well to talk of honing one's form, but why should we not perfect the tool so integral to our customs? I am decided. I shall take this bow back to the arbor. With this as my weapon, I have no doubt I shall pass my trial of archery. It seems Sir Glindor's doubts no longer plague him. May his newfound confidence see him through his trial of archery. Indeed, you are correct. I believe I know whom we must seek. I believe I can... With the bow you gifted me in hand, I no longer dread being put to trial. I almost look forward to it. I shall attack my training with renewed vim. How might I be of service? Hail, it is not long now ere I am to undertake the trial of archery. I thought it only right to tell you that, as you were the one who gifted me the bow that I'll be using. I was also rather hoping you would consider attending. No one could be worthier of witnessing this milestone in elven archery than you. Ah, but the path to the arbor is not easily found or followed. It would be best I escorted you. There is a log bridge near the ruins where I train. I'll await you on the other side. Come find me when you are ready to make for the sacred arbor, the village of my people. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Welcome to... And quality is what you need if you want to survive. So before you check the price... Many thanks. I appreciate the business. Need anything? Stop by again soon. You've come. Shall we be off? Follow me, and pray take care not to fall behind. One can easily lose their way here. 
The sacred arbor will be a sight to behold, I am sure. Let us trust in Ser Glindor to see us there. We ought not lose sight of our guide. <laughs> Not yet rounded. A result to be proud of. Fear not. I'll think of something. El, alacarium ilmen elote falomentar in nun fear, nambawe elelia yav tolme? Nandeu in morteren ecialis, nun fear ananduin, fanamone matiene lismelto. Iselrod vane nun lia casinque erenon, lia fendel nar salma vi fier orne fa in del rin. Alacarium fionaro osto urne. Oh, but this one comprehends elvish. Impressive. I suppose I needn't summarize my conversation with Luamir just now then, if your companion interpreted for you. Now, come. The place the trial should be held is just up ahead. Now, I fear more fin than Tarma. I fear Pella in Minisvana. Nun we ondo, 
The trial of archery shall be held here. I bid you wait just a moment uh, while I prepare my entry. But I've just noticed. Where are all the custodians? They ne'er leave their posts. Could it be aught to miss? Nenwen mor Iwanon. Alcarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karilm. Martyr fa nun fionor minas vena eralote. Alcarwa fir nun eldaya menelume sur karilm. Kiriando an mindor hiroth? No. Darren? I cannot stand idly by while my sister is in peril. My friend, if e'er I have had need to call upon your aid, tis now. I beg of you to join me in my sister's rescue. There is no time. I shall mark the location of the ogre's den upon your map. Make haste. Her life hangs in the balance. You're here, and not a moment too soon. We must find my sister and save her from the ogre's clutches. Veninume, mor martyr teel adaka kiriandio. Tael ni sil arin fel. Nun morivin we alcarwa menelume. Lis anandor luntena. Nando in far echialis, pelinol wende, sinde, soron, aele, alvekil. Moriven fender nar itarondo vani. Falis tulia fune numen osto taralia osto telpe. Lungtene nun vi fa atacher. Shall be done. I am here to aid you, Arisen. Pray follow me. I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost.
Ice's sting is yours to wield. Over here, if you please. I shall remain by your side. Arbahart, preserve me. Tis even more nightmarish a sight than I had feared. My father battles the ogre while my sister is clutched in his fist. But there is still hope if I act quickly. Listen well, friend. I shall strike the beast's arm while my father holds its attention. The moment the ogre relinquishes my sister, I ask that you lead her to safety. I have ne'er attempted to strike a target so distant before. Ian, the trial of archery does not demand such a feat. Yet, for the sake of my sister, my arrows must fly true. Frey, keep Darren out of harm's way. We must make our escape, and quickly. Quickly, Master. We must carry Miss Darren to safety. Let ourselves down. Ne fanamo iskiriandio mor elot. Frey, follow me. Hold a moment. What's this? A way out. Let us make haste. Oh, my heart. 
There can be no gladder tidings in all the world. Words shall ne'er suffice to express my gratitude, friend. None of this would have been possible if you had not gifted me this bow. You are my sister's savior. I am for heir in your debt. Et peler, le affaire mor el dalia era lotte. Findlenar. Karilm ilmen al kael. Silfa nam bawe nun kalae la lame. Angadur sindi. Kemenindor kanyan irils al dekar. Fionar el we arfarne nenwen sur orne. Et peler, le affaire mor el dalia era lotte. Ondovana al vekil, et peler ne anler ailame. Lungtena peli telume, ane martir, tindume ingarina fa alme al carua? Nenwen mor aiwanon, arta hir curir, mor fa erando amanda kil. Kiriando an mindor hiroth, arta hir curir, morfa erando amanda kil. Vanalin hiror sorom, sorne an famelton, nundis amanda kil angadur femor. Casinke telpe nun finaler, lera ne fir heranon, an ne arta her firnis. Finlenar. Lung dena we fear no osto. My gratitude to you knows no bounds, friend. Twas your kindness that altered my plight as as much as this bow. Not only are you my sister's savior, but mine as well. By the by, if you are as passionate about mastery of the bow as I am, perhaps you might speak with my father. His experience ought be of benefit to you. All's lost. That's quite enough. This won't do. Kalail Azame, Karilm Ilmen Arkael. Aidalia Anandor, Nun Lintan. Heror Anne Oya Fermor, Anendune Faluntena. Palan Hyar Menran, Lis Fa Arnefane. Elorato ala, nun mor arta her. Firnis an erumar isil rod et peller, lera aetena. Laikazar an ils findamunt in cel. Nefanamo lis kiriandio mor erlot. Iav stir lalasta, nun falasmir malananon. Anna Morlis, Turculion, Echialis. We succeeded in rescuing Miss Darren. Our efforts are sure to have earned the trust of the Elven people. Splendid. Allow me to lead the way. I can take you to our destination by the op. Alkael ne hia. Pitamun. Alkael arume fa in Itarond etele. El dalia finantai.
Carium, kemen ros tindume nun meltol. Morvea kuruir. You're no elf. Halan lome meltol. Firnis nambawe. I am called Darren. My brother taught me to speak your tongue. <laughs> so different from our own. Do you understand me? I learned the words, but this is the first I use them. <laughs> Others of your kind have come here, but my people warn them away. Oh, but I cannot stay. I must, um, see to the Arbor Heart. Hmm. I shall wait. My duty is to care for this, our sacred tree. The Arbor Heart, she is called. She has been with us a, a very long time. She is nature's very heart, and a pillar of strength for my people. We have always lived in harmony with nature, and the Arbor Heart is our uh, uh, connection to the land. Yet, um, day by day, her strength is, is failing. I must give her nourishment of the soil to help her recover. A special kind, called Gwifentia? In my language, I know not what you would call it in yours. Once, a dwarf wandered into the arbor and gifted some to us. It filled the arbor heart with life. Now, um, little remains. Too little for the arbor heart to recover her strength in full. She begins to wane. Do you know of this substance? It must be found outside the arbor somewhere. If you find any, will you tell me where it lies? You can always depend upon me to translate for you, Master. Gwafentia is the elvish word for scale cinder. In your tongue, it is called scale cinder? Where can it be found, I wonder? Now, scale cinder is a byproduct of the Batali smithing style. A Batali blacksmith ought be able to tell us more. If you see him on your journey, will you let me know? Pray, follow me. Menelume sur Karilm. Error and the oil for more. More noon heroes. And in Dune, Falun Tena. Noon Falasmir, and a more lease. The Maester's teaching is yours, Arisen. I dare say there's no truer sign of mastery, nor better reward for your efforts. I shall strive to learn from your example, that I might reach new heights of my own. So Gwafentia is the elvish word for scale cinder. I suppose we ought to pay a visit to a Batali blacksmith next. Follow me. Ah. 
I will guide you to the location. The guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. I can show you where to find a concealed path if it pleases you. I traversed it myself in another world. Lis Findelnar. Art a here, courier? What's humor. this about? What? You say you're on the hunt for Gryffentia. Darren asked that of you, I expect. It is said a woefully lost blacksmith once stumbled into the arbor 
and left some of it with us upon parting. In your language, it is called by another name. What was it? I know I've read of it. Of course. Scale Cinder. That's the one. It can be found in Batal, I believe. I know no more than that. It isn't much talked about, you see. The blacksmith was a dwarf, and the elders are rather prejudiced about their ilk. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? Welcome, and well met. Dear, that's the wrong one. Ah, oh, apologies. Thank you, my darling. <sighs> Fie. My vision's growing worse by the day, I fear. Methinks it began when I started reading an old grimoire I found whilst tidying the storeroom. Tis entitled, On the Transference of Souls. A curious tome, this. It claims to grant the reader the power to summon things from beyond the rift. I thought I might use it to stock my shells with otherworldly wares. Perhaps you will think me simple, but truly all I want is a better life for my wife and daughter. Yet tis most vexing, for the moment I start reading the tome, it is as if a fog descends over my eyes. But mayhap there is hope for me yet, if I can get my hands on a quince. They're said to reduce fatigue of the eyes. Would you be kind enough to procure one for me? I must keep reading that grimoire. I've heard quinces are native to Batal. Shall we see if we can't find some? This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. The Arisen decides our path. We have but to follow. I'm a master of the craft, I am. What am I supposed to do? Aye. What brings you to Brocker's Smithy? Looking for scale cinder, are we? Well, you're in a look. Our forge is flit. Oh, it is at an elf's behest, you say. I'm afraid that changes things a wee bit. Elves and dwarves don't get along, see? Brocker won't want to help you. Unless you were to offer him aught he couldn't resist. Listen. I happen to know there's one bit of elven culture no dwarf can turn their nose up at. All elven fares bland as grass. All of it. That is, save this singularly flavoursome dish, Nutriab. Course, no dwarf would openly admit to having a taste for it. But the fact of the matter is, the mere smell of that dish has dwarves foaming at the maw. Don't believe me. Bring a ball of it to Brocker. You'll soon see. So the blacksmith ought grant us some Gwifentia in exchange for Nutriav. Shall we inform Miss Darren of this, Master? I take it you've some business with this person. Then pray, follow me. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Have you found Gwifentia? A dwarven blacksmith has some? Truly? But elves and dwarves do not see, uh, 
Eye to eye? I fear the smith will not heed my plea. You believe he will if I prepare an elven dish? Which one? Nutriarch. Dwarves have a liking for it, they say? Are you certain? Nutriarb is not very tasty. Few elves enjoy it. It is a pungent stew of um, old fish and apples, boiled till it forms a, a, a thick paste. But I shall prepare it, if it has any chance of bringing me Grafentia. The Arbor Heart depends upon it. Would you be willing to gather the ingredients for me? You won't have to go far to find them. I thank you. I need only the two main ingredients. Rotten apples and rotten fish. Bring them to me and I will prepare Nutriarb. Rotten fish and apples? My stomach lurches at the very thought. But I suppose we ought to procure them all the same. Right you are. Salma Arinfa. Alekano Nanda. Alelia fil mor arendo. Elelote osto silfa malantha alekano mine in fair avehum. The apples and fish we gathered have gone rotten, Master, judging by the smell. Shall we see them to Miss Doran? If you wish to meet with this person, I would gladly lead the way. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. Do you have the ingredients? This is all I need. I will prepare the dish now. It shan't take long. My people dwell in the mountains, so we are rarely able to dine on fish from the sea. This dish was first made by an elf with a craving for fish, when no fresh fish was to hand. These fish already stink of the sea. Left to rot, they turn even more um, pungent. <laughs> Nutriarb is oft served at celebratory events, but I have never seen anyone eat it. Everyone turns their noses from the smell. Hmm. I must endure. It is almost finished, thankfully. The stink is more than I can bear. It is ready, but it is so vile. I cannot understand how anyone could stomach it, let alone enjoy it. I fear the Dwarven blacksmith will be angry if I present him with this. But I will trust in you. Come, let us away to Batal. I thank you. Here, my brother gave this to me. Might we not use it now? The sooner we arrive, the better.
Then I shall remain by your side. You're back! And who's that you've got with you? An elf? I ne'er met one afore. <laughs> Not quite what I imagined, if I'm honest. Uh, well met. The name's Sarah. I'm an apprentice here at the smithy. Well met. She's the one who's after the scale cinder, I expect. Have you brought some of that elven delicacy along with you then, like I suggested? Yes, I have the Nutriarb with me. Marvellous. I thought I smelt it on you. Mark me, you put that in front of Brocker, and he'll fain hear out your request. Right, follow me. I've just cleaned out the forge, see, so we'll need to make for the cavern where we dump all the excess scale cinder. Come on, you two. The cavern's this way. Shall we follow Sir Sarah, Master? With any luck, we'll have pockets full of scale cinder before the day is done. By your leave. Look around if you must, but be sure to buy all. Damn well, scrub themselves. I'll have nightmares. Here we are. Oi, Brocker, you in here? What's all this racket? I thought I told you that... You imbecile. You brought an elf here, of all things. Get her out of here, now! Hold a moment, Brocker. She's brought something for you. Don't you want to see what is? A gift for you. Ah, what makes you think I'd be able to stomach your elven cooking? I'm gonna go dispose of this, and I expect the elf to be gone when I return. What am I to do now? What you came here for, of course! This is your chance! Truly? But... You'll have to be quick, mind. Brocker makes short work of his meals. While you're at it, you might have yourselves a little competition, eh? See who can collect more of the stuff. Anyway, good luck. I'll be outside keeping watch. Best start searching. Brocker might be back any moment. It seems Sir Brocker has a taste for the elven. Oh! Are you done collecting already? Hop to it then, eh? You won't find any scale cinder up.
None here. No better. Are you done collecting already? I was quick. Suppose we'll wait till Darren's done as well, then head back, eh? My heart is racing. I thought the dwarf would catch us. How much scale cinder did you get? You've got so much. With this, the Arbor Heart will undoubtedly recover. For now, I must return and tend to the Arbor Heart. I hope you will come visit us again. I should like you to see the Arbor Heart, um, restored. And I must thank you as well, Sarah. You and the blacksmith, Broca. Not at all. It was my pleasure. I'm sure Brock would say the same if he weren't so stubborn. Now the Arbor Heart is sure to recover, and seeing Miss Darren's cheerful mien made all our labors worthwhile. We have arrived. Have you brought me a quince? Many thanks, sir. At last, I may continue reading that grimoire. This could be the turning point in my family's fortune. We ought to follow close behind. Where's my clothing? Where in a right state? Pray, follow me. I know the way, so there's no chance of our getting lost. We're here, Master. You're not getting in here on my watch. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something. Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all I ask. Many thanks to you. Well, if you think me a liar, then buy something and see that the item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. Use it well. Hope to see you again. You might say that the purpose of a forgery is limited only by one's own imagination. 
My heart shies from the thought of using it for deception. But that decision is not mine to make. This ox cart's bound for Verm. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Well met, sir. You'll be glad to know that I finally finished my reading of that grimoire we spoke of. Which brings me to a curious point. There's a favor I'd ask of you. Hmm? What happened to my eye? Oh, uh, uh, never mind the bandage. Tis nothing serious. Now, as I was saying, I'd like for you to find the grimoire's second volume for me. T'would seem tis part of a set and will only reveal its true power when both tomes are in hand. The copy I possess is but the first, one half of a whole. I've heard tell that its twin can be found in a queer little shop in Vermont. Alas, passing through the border checkpoint is no simple matter for a humble merchant like myself. But you, sir, I dare say you are not of Batal. Then you ought have no trouble passing through the checkpoint. I implore you, find that second volume for me. All I want is to give my family a decent life, the life they deserve. This is my chance to provide for them as I ne'er have. A strange... Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? Fortune smiles upon me at last. With this, my shop's prosperity is all but assured. Thank you, Sir Arisen. Oh, thank you. Perhaps you'd care to join me. Come, bear witness to this momentous occasion. We ought to follow close behind. This is it. This is the moment I've been preparing for. Dear, is this truly safe? I'm afraid of what's to come. Have faith, my darling. All is well. You need only stand there and watch. Father, you don't need to do this. I'm happy with our life as tis now. Tis good to hear you say that, my daughter. But I've come too far. I must see this through. I believe I need only... Ha! Huh. Did I? Did I do it? All appears unchanged. A failure then. Ah oh, well. I suppose our fortunes were ne'er likely to turn so easily. I've learned my lesson. No more of this grimoire nonsense for me. I'll settle for being a humble apothecary after all. My dears, can you forgive me for my foolishness? Oh, Isaac. You two had the right of it all along. I ne'er should have chased after a silly dream like this. Father, I, I shouldn't have complained. I know you do your best for us. You always have. Enough of that now. You've naught to apologize for. Tis a father's duty to provide for his children. I only wish I could give you more. You have my gratitude, Sir Arisen. Though I failed in my quest, I've learnt much. And from this moment forth, I'll be focusing my energies on naught but my trade. I hope I can count on your continued patronage, sir. 
So this is the conclusion that awaits if Sir Isaac has given a forgery. My own master gave him the genuine article. Ought I take your word for it? I wonder if we would have been wealthy had the experiment succeeded. My husband has returned to work with renewed vigor. It is good to have him back to his old self. He'll have all the support we can give. We're family, after all. Come, I'll lead the way. When all's said and done, I'm quite glad my experiment failed. Though I wish I knew why it did. Alas, such things are best forgotten. In fact, methinks you ought to take this grimoire off my hand, sir. No sense in my holding on to it. When all's said and done, I'm... Alas, such things are best forgotten. Oh, over here, master. Did you lose sight of me? That went as well as we might have hoped. Let us cast our eyes about and analyze the situation. You're here. You must come see. Look there. New buds. The Arbor Heart is recovered. And as she and I are as one, I feel renewed myself. You saved her. I will never forget this debt of gratitude as long as I live. The Arbor seems gladdened to have new life in her bows. It is joyous to behold. Fortunate I am that we crossed paths. Perhaps we can uh, journey outside the Arbor together again someday. My own master oft crafts such forgeries. It is not what I expected. Ayu, Fanamo Nemetani. Misfindemon Fionaro. What have you come for today? I have a request. Will you hear it? I thank you. Over here, if you would. And etel in Lala Star. In the moon. Your men run sorrow.
I thank you. I thank you. You deserve a reward. Wonder if it's too early for dinner. Hello there. How have you fared? M might I beg a favor of you? Many thanks. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. Good morrow, everyone. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? I grant your weapon a magical boon.
You have my gratitude. W would you accept this by way of thanks? Welcome, sir. There's aught to be said. Off to market I go. I am the cream of the crop. What's the light for the breeze? Be wild if I heard a good story. Suffice it to say. I shall watch your undertakings with great interest. Not just now, I reserve these hours for myself. Suffice it to say, I shall watch your... Promising. You know, many of our patrons wish to take me for themselves. Yet there is something different about you. Hmm, how curious. I lived a simpler life once. But one man changed all that. Tis no simple matter for a woman to make it this far on her lonesome. Yet, after all this time, here I am. Here I am. Tis no simple matter for a woman to make... Here I am. Greeting. You need only make a word. I have seen your path. You've my gratitude. If the way forward is shrouded to you, it is lovely to see you. I take pride in my coat, and rightly so. Welcome, sir. As ever, we are delighted to have you. Pray, do enjoy your stay. The sky always puts me in a contemplative mood. My sincerest apologies. Lady Wilhelmina is attending to a patron at present. What's this all about? Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. When I imagine you in the arms of another, my heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. 
Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just... I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further. I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in? You have my thanks. Had I not noticed your presence, I might have slain him there and then. Tis no jest. You see, everything I've done these past few years has been leading up to this. I am here to kill him. But I cannot simply end his life, oh no. I must first expose his misdeeds. Only then will I allow myself to grant him the miserable end he deserves. Or so I'd sworn, but I've yet to find a single shred of evidence. Perhaps the time has come to surrender this crusade. You would lend me your aid. But I've done nary a thing to earn it. And recall that I've devoted years of my life to his pursuit, with naught to show for my troubles. If the proof I seek yet exists, it will not be so easily uncovered. I suppose there is truly naught I can do. Save deliver him a gruesome demise for all to behold, that is. Still, if you insist upon searching for evidence of his crimes, three days. I will give you three days to find what you seek. I shall wait patiently, though not with bated breath. Minister Allard is a noble, yes? Do we know of anyone privy to the goings-on in the palace? What are we to do? As Minister Allard is of the Queen Regent's faction, I expect he speaks regularly with Regent Kinsven. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. You wish to expose Allard's misdeeds. I know not whether I can assist you in this, friend. Ah, but of course, Patrick may know aught that could aid you. Go to his manor come nightfall. If you say you are in my employ, you should be allowed entry with no issue.
Very well, I shall return. Allard. Long have I borne witness to the man's arrogance, and long has it infuriated me. I visited his manor once. I recall that he was rather particular about the placement of his paintings. Mayhap he's concealed aught behind one. Tis just the sort of thing one would expect from a man who places so much stock in appearances. Shall I summon him here? You could make use of his absence to steal into his manor and inspect his art collection. I see. Pray speak with me again when the timing is more suitable for you. I should be here, save when some business demands my attention. Well now, are you prepared to infiltrate Allard's manor? I can call for him at a moment's notice. Excellent. I will send word to him presently of some urgent matter that requires his intervention. Once you've seen him depart his manor, make your way inside and stay alert. We may not get a second chance at this. I will use this opportunity to gather my strength. supposed to be if there's aught you have to say then say it I am a busy man away with you then but Anyone else shares my sorrows. You're wasting your time talking to me.
only person I believe in is myself. I cannot afford another night of cavorting. This place always puts me at ease. Like Silence cultivates wisdom. Then I shall remain by your side. With more coins. What is life sense. There's ought to be said for peace. Ought to set my head. I get along with everyone. Oh. Always sets me to think at a distance. So, you've returned. I confess, I thought you might not. I was ready to settle things myself. Well, did you find what you were looking for? Thank you. I can't believe you found this. All that remains is to end that man's life with my own hands. I've no other tasks for you. This partnership of ours has come to a close. Unless you intend to see this through till the end. You're a curious one, aren't you? But what's just as curious is that I can't bring myself to refuse you. All right, if you're offering your aid, then I'll gladly accept it. Come with me. Allard is in the room to the left. Go in and restrain him for me, would you? Never mind the mask. Consider it a charm of sorts. At last. It feels like an age has passed since... What is this? Who are you? Don't let him escape. Hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? Oh, you hang for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That, that voice. Wilhelmina. But why? Why would you? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there, it's hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served, and his wife. 
They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were that child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. Fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. This is for my mother. And this is for my father. The time has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract... We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. You have done what you set out to do, I trust. Then come, Master. Let us quit this place. I think it would be best for us to make our escape separately. Should we both make it out of this unfettered, let us meet at the Myrmacolian on the morrow. Till then, be well. Magical boom. What's this all about? If this is fair, I'll show you what to do. What to do? Luck can only get you so far, I suppose. There's naught like a campfire to strengthen the bonds of fellowship. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? O 
Over here, if you please. We've arrived, just as planned. I had planned for the morrow. <sighs> Some patrons can be rather demanding. Am I Things like Thank you. I finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident, after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. I truly cannot thank you enough. But I want to try. Just this once. I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. I believe I know whom we must seek. If you would be so kind as to follow me, I shall take you to the one you seek. So, you seek to go on through. A group of bandits has been terrorizing the roads of late, targeting our ox carts and the cargo they carry. They call themselves the Coral Snakes, and they are no common thieves. They are organized and deadly efficient. And worse still, they are without scruples. They have been killing and stealing in equal measure. Devils, the lot of them. What say you? Would you lend your aid in catching them? Many thanks, sir. I shall be glad to know someone is doing aught to help us. You all begin by scouring for their hideout. It must be somewhere near the highway, for that has been their primary target thus far. Mayhap you could learn aught by speaking with some survivors of the raids. There's been more trouble, as if we needed it. Happened right near here, too. I'd bet my left boot, twas those coral snakes behind it, nowhere's safe anymore. Seems they've slipped past this checkpoint and gone right into Batal. What did they put all that effort into honest work like the rest of us? If someone doesn't put a stop to them anon, we'll all be sorry. A city can't function without a steady supply of goods, and fewer and fewer carts are making the journey. They say you should be thankful for your life, but simply being alive isn't the same as living, eh? The trouble happened due south of here. It will be those coral snakes again, I'm sure of it.
If your pack grows over full... Who are you? What would you with me? You looking for the Coral Snake's hideout? Don't ask me. They were on us before I knew what was happening. Couldn't even guess where they... <clears throat> Come to think of it, was as we passed the crags to the west of here that they all came out at once. I had a clear view of them from the back of the cart. That's all I know. I ran for my life. Only reason I'm still here. Thought I'd come back, see if aught was left. But just being here again puts my hairs on end. You know what? I just remembered. There was a child traveling with us. Wonder if the lad's all right. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. First blood's always the sweetest. You all right? Halt, I say! Who? Fight! I'll have you! Pursuing yon bandit may well lead us to the fiend's hideout. Come, master, there is not a moment to lose. Have you lost it? A child was hurt during today's raid. Don't hurt children. That's the rule. Don't tell me you forgot. Sorry. Must have slipped my mind. It's like that, is it? Huh? That what you're gonna tell Lenzo? He says we don't hurt kids. So you better... Hold it! Who's this, then? We've got an intruder. I'll go warn Lenzo. Coming here was the last mistake you'll ever make, cuz. ice and turn it against our foes. No, no, no. 
Am I going to make it? Come on, this way. I need to get you out of here before things get bloody. That's what Lenzo said to do, if we ever got raided. So come on, you lot. We're going to go see him. He'll keep us all safe, I'm sure of that. They're already here! Run for it! Come, I'll lead the way. I'm going to enjoy this. Go on, run. Oh. I enjoy the chase. I grant your weapon a magical boon. I don't stand a chance. My thanks. We shall accompany you now. Those coral snakes must pay for their crimes. We shall join you and aid your efforts however we can. Give no quarter. This appears to be the Coral Snake's hideout. If we capture them, the other bandits might be brought to Fighting them! Your disposal. Wait a moment.
Dan. We'll have to scarper. Come in, Lancho. Ah, but uh, before I forget, <laughs> here you are. <laughs> 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 Time for you to make yourself useful. This isn't the first time I've taught an unseasoned whelp the meaning of betrayal. <laughs> and it shall be the last! <laughs> I can't believe it. Arrest him! Lanzo? Why? A job well done. It is unfortunate that their leader escaped, but I very much doubt the coral snakes will be using this hideout again. We'll interrogate the lad and see what he knows. Mayhap he can tell us aught of the leader's whereabouts. The coral snakes are still an enigma. Mayhap the lad can tell us more. It was painful to behold how callously the leader treated that young man. He shed him like an old boot. Tis loathsome being the bearer of such ill tidings. Yes, you're the... I've been questioned. The lad's been sent back. I seem to recall that he... I believe I know whom we must seek. Methinks I know where to find the person you're looking for. to join me for a glug or free, cuz? Say, cuz, are you fond of granting folks requests? Thanks, cuz. Hustle and bustle puts me right at home. Years pass, I and still I learn more my age. I say. So you're the one Benjamin sent to get the whelp to talk, eh? Well, go on then. Don't dawdle. And I'll thank you not to distract the jailers from their charge. were killed by brigands, 
and I've no doubt I'd have followed them to an early grave if Lanzo hadn't taken me in. He made me a part of the Coral Snakes, gave me a home, a life. I wanted to repay him however I could, so I did what he told me. I know it ain't right to steal, but I thought I could use all that gold of Filch to help someone, like Lanzo did for me. I didn't take it for myself, it was for the poor. I wanted to give people a chance to choose a better path in life. Instead of ending up like... Like me. Not sure why I've told it. That's why I did the things I did. Understand? And I don't believe for a moment that Lanzo meant what he said to me in the hideout. Twas all an act. So if you're waiting for me to talk, cuz, don't hold your breath. Not sure why I've told it, if I'm honest. Aye, what can I do for you? Oh, you want the bandit well released, do you? I suppose I could consider it. I, being head jailer, has its privileges. I could accommodate such a request if I were so inclined. Of course, you'd need to prove your integrity first. I can't go around unlocking cells for just anyone. Aye, you've made your case well. I'll see to it that the request for the lad's release is put through. But you might have to be patient. One cannot rush these things. That's why I did the thing, and I don't believe for a moment that Lanzo meant what he said to me in the hideout. Twas all an act. So if you're waiting for me to talk, that's why, and I don't believe for a moment that Lanz... No, there's no need to fret. These things take time, you understand. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? Thanks, Kaz. Here. Methinks you've earned a reward, Kaz. Greetings, sir. You're here about the whelp, I presume. Aye, I've not forgotten our arrangement. But I'm afraid things aren't going as smoothly as I'd hoped. It's my superiors, you see. They understand that there are some extenuating circumstances, but the lad's still a thief. They're not convinced he should be released so soon. Normally, I'd let the matter lie, but methinks I could find the courage to try again with only a little motivation. What say you, sir? Have you any words of encouragement for me? Aye, that's just what I needed to hear. I'll see about securing the lad's release anon. You really must care for the whelp to go so far for him. Let's hope he's worth it, eh? No, there's...
There's no need to fret. Ah, well met. You'll be glad to hear we've succeeded in capturing another of the coral snakes. Fortunately for us, this one started talking the moment a bargain of acquittal was mentioned. Mayhap through speaking with him, we might discern some means of loosening Hugo's tongue. Our research shall save the world entire. I'll not stick my head where it will get cut off. Have noticed if I'm mistraining. See if you can escape me a second time. So tired. I'm barely the vim to. We'll see if you can escape me a second time. Who are you supposed to be then? Eh? Quit staring. Wait, you're one of the ones that's came crawling into our hideout. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Ain't funny, really. But seeing you is reminding me of that bleeding runt's face. Ha! <laughs> I'm talking about Hugo, of course. Ha! <laughs> Didn't you hear him sobbing as we left? Lanzo, why? Boo hoo! <laughs> But he's still crying over it, eh? Like a babe without its mum. <laughs> of course, Lanzo's already forgotten about the poor sod. Was right glad to be rid of him, truth be told. That blackguard. Oh, it tells me there's more to his tale. Not sure I can stomach it, mind. Hugo's been following Lanzo around ever since he was a kid. Wouldn't quit it, neither. Even when it got him a beating. Still, there's a use for whelps like him. Guards aren't like to throw a brat in jail for pocketing a few trinkets, eh? They can earn their own living that way. When one shop starts getting suspicious, they just move on to another. Easy pickings for a kid. And having a few whelps along makes setting up in a new town a trice. The guards don't suspect a thing. But Hugo had gotten too big for that, see? We'd run out of uses for him. Well, save throwing him to the dogs, so as we could make our escape. <laughs> Hard to believe the lad never figured out we was using him. Real loggerhead, that one. Did he ever tell you his story? About how his parents were killed by brigands or some such? Couldn't be more obvious who that was, eh? Ah, his mum was a comely lass. Don't remember a thing about his da. We roughed them up, had a bit of fun. Emptied their purses and the like. Lanzo slit their throats himself. It was hard not to laugh, watching daft little Hugo grow up, hanging off Lanzo's bootstraps and never questioning a damn thing. <laughs> We've a new hideout now, over on the ancient battleground. All right. I ain't a fit to tell you that. 
I might owe Lanzo a favour or two, but not enough to rot in here for him. In fact, why don't you go pay him a visit, eh? Ain't right that I'm the only one in this hole. What do you want now? What? He said... What? That... That can't be right. But... If he did that to me... Then what about all those kids? He can't have killed all their parents too. Can he? No. Tell me it's all a lie, damn you! Execution. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Ice of Sting is yours to wield.
you know who you're dealing with. Bugger off if you want to see the morrow. Staining his hand any further. You? This your work then? I came to get my vengeance, only to find all those who could give it to me already dead. Fine. Seems my entire life's a farce, and I'm the only one not laughing. I don't rightly know where to go from here. What am I to do now? An honest life, huh? What a lark. This is the only life I've ever known. It's too late for me to change paths now. Oi. Listen. Do you really think someone like me could live an honest life after all that's happened? Hmm. I've... Always wanted to try. Earning an honest living, I mean. But what could I do? Not sure as I've many skills, save picking pockets. And no one would want me working for them, would they? You know of a place I could work? Work? You... you think I could work, though? But true. What? You went out and looked for a job for me. But why? Why would you put yourself to all that trouble? I... Give it a try, I suppose. Not sure how it'll turn out. But it's a start, at least. I'll do my best not to make a mess of it. Oh, and... Thank you, cuz. I should be glad to assist you, Arisen. CQ passage to the southwest. I'd advised against it, sir. 
is a forbidden place. And for good reason. Those who tread near are said to be devoured, you see. I heard one survivor tell of how his companion went suddenly quiet, and when he turned round to see what was wrong with her, her head fell off and crumbled into dust. You hear a lot of those stories round here. I've met people who've lost arms and legs, or else watched their friends get rent in two so fast they were still crawling as they died. Should you choose to go there in spite of my warning, sir, on your head be it. But I pray you'll return to tell us what you saw. I'd be... Come chasing us as well, have you? Aye. Rumors abound of the Shrine of Eld in this domain. Could be hiding all manner of priceless treasures, couldn't it? And if monsters happen to be guarding it, I shan't be afeard. Nay, I'll strike them down with tooth and claw. That's how I plan to make a name for myself, see? Hand over, hand over, point in your point purse, in your now.
Medusa. Few creatures are more perilous. Its powers of petrification are not to be trifled with. Avoid its gates at all costs. Do not attack it from the front. I knew that I could count upon your strength, Arisen.
Aye, what is it? Beg pardon, sir. But you are the Arisen, are you not? Captain Brandt bade me ask aught of you, if you would hear it. However, is a matter best kept from prying ears. Might we not move to a more discreet location? Firstly, pray, take this. Tis a regalia sword, one of the kingdom's treasures. Tis my duty to guard it. Yet, I have stolen it from the masquerade hall where twas on display. A duplicate now rests in its place, and I must beg you to keep the true artifact hidden, lest the ruse be discovered. Generations of Amundian rulers have wielded it, Though not in battle, of course. Tis a ceremonial weapon for use in parades and the like. Yet, Deesa's disdain for tradition has seen the blade suffer. Tis fractured and has lost much of its former luster. Captain Brandt is of a mind to restore it, so that it might serve as a symbol of your authority, Sir Arisen. Indeed, when the time comes for you to announce your ascension, having this sword at your hip, would doubtless elevate your standing in the eyes of the people. And I must confess, having watched over the blade for many a year, I've grown rather fond of it. I should be well glad to see it restored to its former splendor by your hand. My hopes for our kingdom and its treasure go with you, Sir Arisen. I bid you good fortune. We must need to find a smith with the skill to restore this blade. To whom can we turn for aid in this matter? I've heard a blacksmith of singular skill resides in Bakvatal. Perhaps he could restore the regalia sword. Fret not, master. I know precisely where this person can be found. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. This journey will be a long one. <laughs> what so we can kill an Oxcart and save our people? <laughs> this is a business choice to make, so I certainly hope you guys will. That's what you get. I'm not sure I can handle this. Let me alone, will you? Look around, you But be sure to buy more. There's light armor, and there's heavy. If tis a blacksmith you need, I can't help you. I'm retired, see? Oh ho! Tis a regalia sword you want restored, is it? That's a first. <laughs> All right, give us a look then. Hmm. Now here's a masterwork of craftsmanship if I e'er saw one. Not to blow my own horn, but uh, <laughs> I wager I'm the only blacksmith who could set this ailing steel to rights. But, as I've said, I've lain down my tools, and before you start begging, know that I don't intend to pick them back up. Well, why are you still standing there? Leave an old man in peace. That went rather poorly, I fear. What are we to do now? 
beg pardon, sir, but uh, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with Brocker. You'll have to forgive him. He's been in a foul mood eh, since we got cut off from the fuel for our forge. Though, he's always been a bit crotchety, come to think of it. Enough cheek, you wool-brained wastrel! Now, I'm off to the tavern. Can I count on you to mind things here while I'm gone? Of course you can. You go enjoy yourself. Psst. Hang about, eh? When he's gone, you and I can talk. Twas special made to use glimmer coal mined from a nearby cavern. Till the monster's settled in, that is. Neither of us can go anywhere near the place now. Listen, Brock is too proud to ask for help, but I'm not. Would you be willing to go out to the cavern and mine us up some glimmer coal? I'll take as much as you can carry. Should you succeed, I reckon he'll change his mind about restoring that blade of yours. Now, true to its name, glimmer coal emits a pale light. So you'll want to cast your eyes about for any glowing spots when you get to the cavern. Oh, suppose you'll be needing the name of the place. <laughs> Digger's Ruins, tis called. I'll count on you to bring lots of the stuff back. If we can procure some glimmer coal from Digger's Ruins, so Brocker ought to have a change of heart about the regalia sword. Very well. I'll guide you there directly. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. A customer there to me to that changes things. Could you come over here? Invincible! A magic you're not interested in arriving at our destination, so I'll hold off on guiding us there for now. There will be other opportunities to lead. I will protect you.
This ought to suffice. Unless you'd rather mine for more, Master. I suppose it is so. Have you any glimmer call for me? That's plenty. Many thanks. Brocker, we've got more glimmer call. Now we can reignite the forge. Tisn't the forge what needs igniting, girl, but your fool ears. I've told you my smithing days ended when those monsters moved in. I've no use for glimmer coal anymore. I'm done, understand? I'll not hear another word about that rusted hunk of steel. If you're so keen to have it repaired, then see to it yourself. Now oh, leave me be. My mattress beckons. Oh, I was certain he'd pick up his tools again if we only had more glimmer coal. My apologies for putting you to all that trouble, sir, but mayhap your efforts needn't go to waste. I could try my hand at repairing that sword for you, if you'd be agreeable. Way I see it, if old Brock is the only smith with the skill to see it done, then I'm your best hope. Being as I'm his apprentice and all. Well, what say you? I'm grateful for your trust, sir. You'll soon see your faith was well placed. Um, mayhap not soon as twere. I fear I'm a novice in the truest sense. I'll be needing some time. But I'll see it done all the same. You have my word. Mark me. This blade will be shining like a star by the time I'm finished with it. Sir Sara is apprenticed to the legendary dwarven blacksmith. There's no doubt in my mind that she will succeed. I'm a master of the craft. I'm grateful for your trust, sir. You'll soon see your faith is well placed. Um, mayhap not soon as twere. I fear I'm a novice in the truest sense. I'll be needing some time. I've never seen this sort of craftsmanship. How'd they work such a pattern into the blade? Hi there, Arisen. Forgive me, but I've made nary a lick of progress toward restoring that sword of yours. The blade's make is as intricate as tis beautiful. Suppose that's why these things ne'er see battle, eh? If I only knew how to create this pattern on the steel, mayhap the rest had come easier. What are you jabbering about now? Oh, um... Uh, you're looking at the work of a blaze hammer. Tis a process scarce employed, but one befitting the prestige of a regalia sword. Honestly, girl. You're no apprentice of mine if you can't figure out aught as simple as that. Sorry, Brocker. Must have slipped my mind. But if these patterns were the work of a blaze hammer, mayhap that's what it'd take to fix the blade. If you've not heard the term, tis where you heat your hammer to extreme temperatures by dipping it in magma. Tis hardly air used since the hammers like to cool afore you can forge aught with it. Brock has explained the process to me, but I wonder if that's enough. It seems it will take a rather complex process to restore the sword. 
but I've no doubt that Sir Sara is up to the task. It is no great shock to me. How could that whelp fail to recognize the distinctive traces of a blaze hammer? I thought I taught her better than that. Ah, but it's what she does next that really counts. Knowing that the patterns on the sword were the work of a blaze hammer complicates matters somewhat. Suppose I'll sleep on it. Mayhap the answer will come to me on the morrow. You're the one who brought that regalia sword here in the first place, I. I want a word. It's that fool apprentice of mine. I haven't seen her since yesterday. Knowing her, she skipped off to the mountain base cave on Volcanic Island to try her hand with a blaze hammer. It's the only place with enough heat, see? Since you're the one who inspired this nonsense, you'd best go find her. And bring her back in one piece, lest I ring my hammer against that hollow shell you call a skull! Sir Sarah has gone to the mountain base cave alone. It sounds a perilous place. We ought hasten to her side. if you would. A well-organized pack is my specialty. Pray, follow me.
Over here, if you please. It shall be done. I am here to aid you, Elisa. to an elemental boon. me if you would. If tisn't the arisen, come to check up on me, have ya? Well, I'm faring just fine. In fact, I've done it! See? Tis a blaze hammer! All that's left is to get this to the forge outside the cave. I hope you're ready, arisen, as there's not a moment to spare. Follow me, and quickly! Make haste for the cave exit!
to still scalded hot. Let's strive to keep it that way. Doing well so far. Already halfway there. Tisn't looking good. The hammer's lost near half its heat. I am honored to be called to your side, Arisen. The heat's dwindling fast. <laughs> We've made it out at last. Good on you for keeping up. Right, now to do what I came here for. Then it's back to the smithy for the finishing touches. A rock. Boring success. Shall we return to the... Smithy and see how her saw affairs. You bird-brained buffoon! Where have you been? Brocker! Sorry, uh... There's no time for apologies, girl. We've got to get that blade on the anvil, lest the blaze hammer's treatment be for naught. You're the first apprentice of mine with the gumption to do aught like this. You got the blaze hammer work done, and you did it right. But the hardest part's what comes next. I'll walk you through what's needed. Though I dare say, it is one of the few lessons I've left to teach you. You've proven yourself this day, Sarah. You're the one fit to carry on my techniques and this smithy. But not if you're going to stand there and gawk. To the forge with you, girl! Uh, come in, Brocker. Hi, Arisen. I've been waiting for you. Here it is. Your regalia sword. Looks newly forged, doesn't it, eh? Brocker had me working on it for hours. Got nary a wink of sleep. But owing to that... Me thinks it turned out real fine. I only hope you're pleased with it. Tis as much your success as mine. So much has changed for me since you first brought that sword to the smithy. I feel as if I'm finally on the path to becoming a blacksmith in my own right. Thank you, sir, for all you've done on my behalf. The regalia sword is brilliant to behold, Master. I expect Sir Roman will be very pleased to see it. I hope you're pleased with how the sword turned out. I certainly am. I'm going to keep learning all sorts of techniques till I'm no longer an apprentice, but a blacksmith in my own right. Expect great things in me, you hear? Would you mind coming over here? I've lost our scaring with others. I'll not spurn your company. 
We're better prepared than we might have hoped. What we need is already to hand. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I inquire as to what's become of the Regalia Sword? So this is how the sword looked in its glory days of yore. Tis splendid to behold. I thought the blade ought to be restored for its history, but seeing it like this, I feel it means something more. Something greater. Pray, give my thanks to the blacksmith who repaired it. Tis fine work she has done. Impeccable, I should say. And you, Sir Arisen, you have my sincerest gratitude. You have breathed life anew into one of our kingdom's most sacred treasures. I can imagine no worthier symbol of a sovereign's majesty. I await the day it shall adorn your noble hip with bated breath.